What's that, ladies and gentlemen, your fighters for your ninth fight of the night? Once again, the blue corner, Lindsay Hudson! And his opponent fighting out of the right corner, Trevor, the last Shinobi Lawson! Ladies and gentlemen, this fight scheduled for three three minute rounds. Your referee, Mr. Rob Madrigal. You got uh, Lindsay Hudson in the leopard print <laughs> shorts. Yeah. And uh, Trey Lawson coming together with the uh, excited to see how this is going to play out here. Like, Touch of gloves between the two. You got Lindsay Hudson advancing. Uh, Lindsay in the southpaw taking that southpaw stance right away. Not wasting any time for the, for and the I, shot. I, I think the difference between these two is Trey Lawson wrestled all four years of high school and is not going to be an easy guy to opposition when it comes to the when it comes to the ground. That's a put a lot of pressure on him. He's trying to get that outside, that Kosoto Gari, that outside trip hook. You know, Lawson, uh, you know, when his striking is on his toes, when he's on his toes, it is next level. And you see how he's got his hand tied up there, Mike. He's doing a great job there because he's stopping him from getting a really good grip on him back, and he's also able to start landing a bunch of strikes. Boom, and let him go right back to that underhook. Trey Lawson. Like I said, he's not going to be an easy guy to take down. No, he's doing it. Lawson's doing a good job defending. You know, when he, when he saw him, like the opening exchange between the two, Lawson wasn't like the first to really open up the exchange. He's going to have to be a little more offensive right? in situations like this, where you know he's got the length. Now he's got the length to get the breakaway. Lawson not wasting any time to get in again. Yeah. yeah, Trey Lawson landed the jab, just missed on the right. Now, Trey Lawson is another guy that, in the beginning of his mixed martial arts career, was holding his breath a lot and was having issues with his gas tank, you know, by doing so. But, you know, with competition and experience, you know, you tend to kind of work past things yeah. of that nature. Yeah, he looks like he's handling that a lot better now. He's staying fairly relaxed, even though he's taking those shots coming in. He doesn't look pretty disturbed by any of that stuff. He's trying to stick that jab in there. Yeah. See, so it looks like Hudson's trying to time underneath that jab every time. Inside leg kick by Trey Lawson. Lawson with a stiff jab. Uh, you know, he's not throwing him with any intent. Lawson's not throwing him with any intent, no. but he is with the leg kicks. Yeah, and uh, let's see what he's got set up here. Yeah, Trey Lawson. Now he's engaging in a clutch. He's, he's got, oh, what a really nice takedown, man. You know, Trey Lawson has four years of high school wrestling. You can't take a, we can't put a price on, yeah, especially nice against another high-end grappler. He's going for it again. Now he's got the single tie-up, and he brings Hudson down to the ground. And Hudson reverse and nice scramble from these guys. Oh, <laughs> really good scramble out of both uh, Trey and Lindsey Hudson. Nice knee to the body by Trey Lawson. Lindsey Hudson initiated the clinch. And like I said, when you, yeah. when you got two high-end grapplers, the uh, odds of a boxing match breaking out is pretty high. Right. Here we go. Left to right by. Oh. Just missed with the leg kick. And, and Trey Lawson comes in with two punches, but they're not, you know, they're volume punches. They're not intense punches. Yeah. And he had an open window right there. You know, he did. You, you, you throw volume punches to create openings, but when that window presents itself, you got to walk through it. Lawson had it over in the corner right here in the last 10 seconds, and he chose another volume punch. Yeah, he did. Um, it looked like he was finally starting to get his distance a little bit. Uh, Hudson really put a lot of pressure with him early on. Let's see if uh, if he adjusts to it, and uh, Lawson can uh, circle a little bit, keep that distance away, and pick his shots. You got a lot of experience in each corner. You got Jake Flip, Zach Otto, both of those guys have been Jake Cliff obviously had a right. know, pretty good career in mixed martial arts himself. Zach Otto, a UFC veteran. They've had several people from their camps fight in the UFC. Right. From the ground up, they're coaches, not poachers. They don't big game hunt. They bring people up from the first fight to all the way to the UFC. But on the other end, you have Jeff Neal and Steve Cologne, who those exact same sentiments can be said. Both these guys looking pretty fresh and ready to rock and roll. Lawson, despite Lawson. that high pace. Yeah, Lawson's going to have to turn up the power on some of his punches, especially when he's got it available. Yeah, he's really got to utilize that space with those punches, the uh, reach that he has. Inside leg kick by Trey Lawson. I think he's a bit tentative from getting the shots taken in on him when he's sticking that left jab. Yeah, Lawson's got that range, too. Every single time 
you know, Lindsey Hudson gets into his mid-range, he should be making a pack. He should. I think the mistake he's making is standing a little bit still right before he's about to punch. Something we see from a lot of grapplers. They'll tend to stand still when they transition. He's got to let that flow a little smoother. Yeah. Surprise him a little bit more. Yeah, Lindsey Hudson's connecting on his short right hands when, when Trey is kind of engaging and closing the distance. Hudson, is, Hudson has landed that short left hand, I should say, because it's a southpaw. Yeah. He's landed on it on more than one occasion. And, and you know, Trey Lawson is walking right into the power hand of uh, Lindsey Hudson, I might add. Yeah, he is. He, you know, you wonder if Lawson should keep, you know, what's his reason for not keeping the distance a little bit more instead of getting within Hudson's range. Yeah, when, when, you know what, and you see a lot oh. of heavy right hands coming, or lead right hands coming out of Lawson, that's because he's fighting a southpaw. He's using his right hand as his jab. You've exactly, got two options. Right, exactly. You either walk away from the power hand of Lindsey Hudson or you right. lead with your power, and that, that's what Trey's doing. Exactly. You know, another thing I'd like to see Trey do is maybe take his hand a little closer to uh, to Hudson and close the distance a little more. You're, you know, you're going to lose a little bit of power on it, but you're going to connect a little bit more. Yeah, ooh. Hard left hook from uh, Hudson there. Yeah, L Lawson just barely moved out of that. Yeah, look at the length on, on, on Lawson and these yeah. kicks. Like right now, kicks are perfect. Oh. He's a little bit too far when he went to pick that up. But. Nice little inside knee by, by uh, Lindsey Hudson as well. Like right there, there's an open window right there. Yeah. If, if you're Trey Lawson, you got to capitalize on that. Absolutely. The problem with the leading with that with that backhand is it's always going to be slower, and I, and it looks like Hudson's a little bit quicker of the fighter, so making that punch from coming from uh, Lawson a little bit slower, Hudson yeah. seems to be beating him to it a little bit, but. I think Lawson's just got to throw that from a bit farther away. Yeah, you can see Hudson breathing out his mouth a little bit, and yeah. the pressure of, of Trey Lawson is no joke. I, I, oh, he caught him with a nice right there. But, but look at the stiff left hand again by Hudson. I tell you that the pressure of Trey Lawson, I mean, he hasn't stopped. No, he keeps pushing forward on that. Yeah, Trey Lawson really finding his groove here in the second round. I'd like to see a little bit more volume of punches coming from Lawson. I don't know if the hesitation is from getting shot in on, but... You know, I, I tell you what, Lindsey Hudson, every single time he closes that distance, he appears to be going for that high kick. If he lowers it just a little bit and starts going for the shoulder instead of the head, yeah. he might find a home. I think you're right. Hudson's breathing a bit hard. Yeah, and the mouthpiece of Trey Lawson was covered in blood. I mean, Trey Lawson is just a, the, uh, the ultimate competitor. It's uh, that body style plays out a lot, that stockier, more explosive body style tends to eat up a lot of energy, you know? Uh, I, I, I think Lawson, I'd like to see a little more kicking out of him. I mean, it's working, and then not just to his rear leg, but to his front leg. Right. You know, of, uh, of Lindsey Hudson. Lindsey Hudson quick out of this corner. Yeah, he seems pretty charged up. Yeah, they're, 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 they saw something. You look at it, Jake Clip. Jake Clip uh, is giving last minute instructions to Hudson. There's, they saw something. I think you're right. It looks like he's anxious to get to a particular right. place right now. I think they're going to let the doctor check Trey Lawson. Cut on the lip of Lawson. I'm not sure. I saw a little, I saw a little blood on the mouth of Lawson during uh, one his of the exchanges. His mouthpiece was covered. Yeah, he's uh, one, of the, one of the trades there. I don't know what the extent of it is. Yeah, they asked the fighter if he wants to go. It's not a question for Lawson. Yeah. I don't see any really external damage on that. No. He might need some stitches afterward. Rob Madrigal, center cage. You know, just taking the caution that a referee must. Absolutely. Yeah, round three. Yeah, that little break is good for Trey. I've seen him have some cardio issues, and uh, that little extra break is only going to benefit him in this instance. You see Hudson, he's waiting. Hudson is waiting for something. You saw Hudson just not really just jab, jab, go in. Right. He was lo looking for a tell. Yeah, he definitely is. And uh, we'll see how much he lasts this round. He looked a little bit tired in between that rest. But uh, he's Lawson, still looking pretty strong right yeah, now. Yeah, Lawson bleeding out of his mouth again. It's those stiff left hands he's taken when closing the distance yep. against Lindsey Hudson. 
He's taking them right on the mouth. He's, he's taking like three or four of them. Yeah, and he's not really point. keeping his hands too high when he's coming in like that, too. So, oh, he's got good left-right movement. You know, yep. like uh, you know, we've seen in fighters in the past just kind of eating punches and walking forward. Yeah, you know, Trey Lawson's got some real Dia good. style. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a nice straight right. He a good right hand by Trey Lawson, leading with his left hand. I'll tell you what, that's Steve Colon and Jeff Neal. They saw he's a southpaw, and boom, lead with your right hand. Yep. He's waiting. Trey Lawson again, picking apart Lindsey Hudson. Lawson's pressure is just incredible. Like, like, like it's, you're not letting your opponent breathe. Lawson is continuously, even like a feint like that, you're making, you're disrupting the breathing of your opponent, and you're looking at a guy, Lindsey Hudson, breathing out of his mouth right now. Yeah, definitely, Mike. That's what I was going to say. Oh. Heavy right hand. Lindsey Hudson gets I dropped. Heavy right Ooh. hand. Stop. Stop. Another stoppage by Rob Madrigal. And I think, uh, man, Trey Lawson. Wow. Wow, really wow, nice. wow. Right, right. All right, That's let me tell you something. Talking about. Sometimes what you see is you'll see people just kind of throwing their punches short. They're T-Rexing. You know, they're being like, they're giving a real short punch, real short punch. From the beginning of this fight, we had talked about, both of us, that Trey Lawson has not turned the power on. Right. What Trey Lawson did right there was low. Right. What was low. Lindsey Hudson into being comfortable, he thinking he could take a power sleep. punch, and he got knocked He got knocked down. Yep. And that right hand really found a home there. I mean, just the disruption of breaths, the sequence. Trey Lawson, that was a masterful performance. And I'll tell you what, Lindsey really Hudson. Really nice timing. Slow getting up like that. Rob Madrigal made the right decision. Absolutely. That was one hell of a performance by both competitors. Yeah, no, that was absolutely a great decision. Fight. We had talked about both of us that Trey Lawson has not turned the power on. Right. What Trey Lawson did right there was low. Right. Was low. Lindsey Hudson into being comfortable Good thinking. Love. Fight. We had talked about both of us that Trey Lawson has not turned the power on. Right. What Trey Lawson did right there was low. Right. Was low. Lindsey Hudson into being comfortable Good thinking. Love.